what's up everyone um <clears throat> happy happy beginning of the week i guess uh last few days were kind of just chill i did a bunch of family stuff over the weekend um tonight is the unboxing improv comedy jam uh at the clubhouse i've been uh if you've been following along i joined them the second monday of every month it's a free show a free improv show and stand-up comedy show uh, i'm gonna go up there and do five minutes uh it's a good spot to as a comedian to do some time because a lot of people come there for the improv and um we do improv for a good 45 minutes to an hour and then they they end with about 30 minutes of stand-up comics trying out their stuff you have a warmed up audience most of the audience are not comics and it's just a fun spot to try out some material i think i'm going to try I might try some stuff, uh, some of my Road Rage material I've been working on tonight. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'll probably record it here and share with you guys. But uh, right now I'm going to go get Oliver from school. Uh, just doing daddy daddy duties today. Uh, went grocery shopping. Going to pick up the kids. Probably going to take Oliver to the park. Uh, throw the ball around a little bit. Got to do some cooking. And then uh, do some writing and get over to this show tonight. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Let's uh, see what the rest of the day looks like. All right, so I am here inside the clubhouse. Uh, we're going to do this improv thing and uh, work out five minutes. I'm just going to kind of do some ranting tonight. And... Uh, don't have very many people here. Sometimes there's a lot of people, sometimes there's not very many people at all. Look at that. We got there's maybe 10 people here total. Doesn't matter, that's perfect. Just treating it as an open mic, working on my shit. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I will record it though. Probably post it here. Whatever. Yes, no, maybe, I don't know. But coming to the stage right now is Chris Hitter! So I walked over and I 
It was petty. I ripped her windshield wiper blade off her car. That's, <laughs> That's, That's, That's not a lot. That's not a lot, dude. That five dollar coffee cost me six G's. <laughs> In 26 hours, a court order to anger management. Uh, but I'm here today to tell you I'm healed. <laughs> Here's the problem. I live in Glendale, bro. Bro. I live in Glendale, right? So uh, earlier today, I was getting on this off-ramp uh, Pacific. You guys might know it. Off the 134. This guy cuts over three lanes, fucking gets in front of me, gives me the finger, and I was like, what the fuck, dude? I pulled over, right? The, the light's red. I'm like, <laughs> I got him. I got him. I jumped out of my car in my flip-flops and started running at his car. The light turned green. I was like, oh, shit. So I started running faster, got to the back window, thought I could get his windshield wiper blade. <laughs> uh, but I did, but I, I did hit the window and it cracked. So I'm happy, I'm happy. Uh, uh, Brick, what are you drunk? <laughs> 2008 Volkswagen. Yeah, right, hey, uh, you're what are you drunk? Uh, Chevy Spark. Yeah, I'm here, I'm investigating for you. <laughs> A Chevy Spark? What the fuck is a Chevy Spark, bro? Is that the you plug it in? <laughs> no, it's actually not even electric. Why would you name a car a Spark if it isn't electric? It doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, dude, let's talk. Let's talk afterwards. <laughs> um, um, all right, real quick. Uh, I'm giving a light. Listen, uh, I started this new thing called the Carnivore Diet. I'm down 16 pounds. It's amazing. Um, the worst part about this diet is having to explain to people, like, I just want meat. <laughs> Can I get the burger without the bun? And like, like all seriousness, like some people will have sandwiched my meat between cheese because they are just programmed to sandwich meat, right? Uh, here's the thing: Did you guys know In and Out has a has a secret menu? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't know this, but someone said, "Hey, man, you're a meat eater. Go to the drive-through and ask for it. Make it secret." And I was like, all right, cool. Dude. So I pulled through and said, you know, this short little lady outside, and she's got that little machine tablet, whatever. And I was like, hey, I would like uh, two naked sailors. And she's like, what? And I was like, yeah, two naked sailors. And I was like, you know, just eat. That's that. So improv, like, to me is, it's becoming a very important tool. Um, I like going to these jam sessions every month because, one, they're free. Two, the people there are amazing. Um, they are a family, and they've welcomed me in to come in and play and do the improv stuff with them. I've been jumping up on stage. Um and uh and then they give me time to you know do some stand up and overall like it's fun the room they they're not all comics there a lot of them are there just for the improv but they come they're in a good mood they they they're coming out to laugh and so it's a good place to test out some material um i just did some ranting i was like i want to rant about road rage and there's some of this carnivore diet stuff and uh, when you get on stage and you're just ranting, it's a good way to just try to get some new material. You're like, okay, I have an idea of what I want to say. I want to talk about X, Y, and Z. But let me get up there and just kind of go with it. And, uh, and being in a room full of improv people, it's a good place to just like try shit out. Um. This week, dude, I don't know about you guys, but, like, this whole uh, time change thing is messing with me, man. I've been really tired all week. And then this carnivore diet thing, like, yesterday, uh, dude, I woke up, I was, like, nauseous. And, um, I mean, I've lost a lot of weight. <clears throat> I weighed myself this morning, and uh, I was down to, like, 203.8. So, 
I mean, I haven't been this low since 2013. So I'm very happy about that. But I have a lot more. I feel like I still have a lot more to lose in my in my gut area. Like my gut is shrunk a lot. Um, I can see my pee pee. <laughs> it sucks having a belly, dude. It really does. So um, that's going really well. But like, yeah, the other day I just felt like I felt like garbage, dude. I, I, you know, I felt nauseous, and then I've been so like I feel drained and tired and. Ugh, like no energy and I think a lot of that just has to do with the time change maybe maybe I don't know some of, some of my diet I'm not sure oh, I got so much work to do though I got a lot of work to do and my wife decided we're gonna host Easter so now I have a lot of work to do around my house um but yeah, that's that. All right, hope you guys enjoy. Love you. Bye.